What is going on guys? PXCam20 back again with a brand new video. As you can see we are in Daily Race C in the uh, Nissan Moto. I think that's how you pronounce it. But uh, you can see we are in a sweaty lobby as we have a couple of fast guys ahead of us. We actually have someone from the Phoenix team and we have GTP right ahead of us with a 137.3. So we were able to increase the lap time on here as I was struggling on this racetrack. Um, it's really, really difficult to get the power down on the qualifying, especially with the uh, Honda NSX. As that is the, the preferred qualifying car. But I decided to pick the Moto because the uh, Nissan actually just performs a lot better under race pace. And not only that, it saves the tire a lot more than the Honda NSX. Because with the Honda NSX, you do get better cornering and you do be get, uh, get better acceleration. But over time, around maybe lap 8 or 9, you just end up losing a lot of tire wear, especially on the rears. Because um, you're just um, spinning the tires out when you get back onto the throttle. But not only that, um, since it corners so well... Uh, you're using up a lot of tire wear because of that. So um, that's why I, I decided to use the Nissan. It's just a lot more easier and it's a lot more stable of a car to use around this racetrack. And honestly, it's just, uh, in my opinion, just performs way better. But again, we're in a really sweaty lobby as we do have a lot of fast guys ahead of us. So we're just going to have to be pinpoint um, accurate. And I, I'm going to kind of spoil it right now, guys. This was a really, really good race. Like this is probably one of the best races I've had all week, probably all month. And it's just a really, really fun time here and races like this are why i really love playing on gt sport just because you can get such good racing here clean close and just hard racing and i'll show you that right now but before we jump into it if you guys really enjoy the content we're trying to reach a goal of 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year so if you guys enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel when you guys do so anyways that's enough promoting myself let's jump straight into the race so as we jump into the race pole position decide decided to use the uh, nissan just like us and uh, you can see second place is using the uh, Honda NSX, but fourth place actually decided to go with the Lexus, while fifth, sixth, and seventh all decided to use the Honda NSX. So it's going to be a very interesting race as we do have a collection of different amount of cars on this race as we are jumping to the start finish line. So we get our 3, 2, 1, and we are a go as we cross the start finish line down this long straightaway here at a topless uh, speedway. And we are right behind the Canadian now as we head into turn number one break as late as we can we actually try to make a move onto the inside but it's a little too optimistic and we uh just take a little peek and actually back out of the move there as the canadian is going to get a better run on us as we come out of turn number one so jumping into turn number two right here we're breaking as early as we can to avoid making any contact with the canadians we're actually staying with the american in first place and we're just you know biding our time here just staying close to each other and not pushing too hard because uh going into this first lap you really don't want to push that hard you really want to conserve the tires you can see the honda gets a little um loose coming out of that that right hander as we come into the sweeping left hander and uh yeah so coming back to the uh, strategy here it's really it's there's a no stop strategy on this racetrack unless if you guys like really spin out and you guys abuse your tires and maybe come into the pit if you guys have a uh, time or space between you and the car behind but um when doing this race it's it's a no stop you don't have to worry about the fuel but again it's just who can manage the tires the best as when you really do see you know who is going to be able to outperform the rest of the field when it comes down to like about lap seven or eight so it's really really important to conserve your tires and not to push that much especially on lap number one um as you can make easy mistakes and accidentally either push someone out or make a mistake yourself and uh, clip a curve or clip a grass and end up spinning yourself out so uh, coming to the end of lap number one we've just been kind of biding our time again just staying right behind the canadian as uh, we haven't been forcing the issue here as we actually gain uh, a ton of time from fourth place so first second and third and us i mean uh we are able to make a gap from us to four so we're just now running single file line as we're heading to turn number one so coming to turn number one the canadian actually breaked very very early we breaked really really late so I, I had to move on to the inside if not we don't made contact with the canadian and uh that actually hurts us as we come out of turn number one and it's able to allow the Canadian to kind of get away from us. But coming to the end of uh, lap number two, we're able to catch up to the Canadians. You can see he's just getting really squirrely on the NSX. Again, the NSX is just so powerful on the acceleration that you have to be very, very careful with it. Now you're going to be um, weaving in and out just like that Canadian right ahead of us. And you can see how loose he gets every single time we come out of that uh, one of these slow corners. And he's just trying to search for a grip now as we come down into turn number one on lap number three. So... Coming to turn number one, we're still too far back to make any type of move as uh, you can get a really good run going down the straightaway and try to make an overtake on the car ahead of you, but it's uh, you have to time it perfectly and you have to be right next to them going alongside and going to turn number one. But it's coming into turn number two here, 
We're breaking just very, very early. As you can see, just the Canadian keeps getting swirly as we come out of uh, this two left-handers here into this little hairpin. Coming to the hairpin, we're staying right behind the Canadian, just on his back bumper now. As we come out to this uh, kind of this right-hander to the sleeping left-hander, you can see the Canadian is still getting loose. Now, as we come down to the hairpin, you can see we're catching up to the can uh, Canadian as he goes a little bit wide. He breaks very, very late, and he actually left the door open onto the inside, but we actually uh, kind of got a little too excited and braked later than him, and we almost missed the corner there too. So we just have to follow him in line here as we come into the third sector here. Just follow him to this right-hander. And uh, one thing I've noticed here is that I was able to get this kind of weird gear trick down where uh you can see right here shift down a second it gives me a lot of power going into the corner but then i shift back up into third and it's it, it just allows me to get more traction coming out of this uh like little section here and allows me to get back onto the throttle easier and not really uh wear out the tires but not only that it, it allows me to catch up to the canadian or the car ahead of me um, really really fast because I'm not spinning out the tires and it just gets me back onto the tra uh, traction so um, coming down the straightaway now we're trying to make a move onto the inside of the Canadians we're actually on the back bumper here we're actually gaining a lot of time now as we're coming to the inside we're gonna go side by side as we head to turn number one we break as late as we can and the Canadian gives us room and we're able to make the overtake as we are now promoted into second place and set our focus now on the American in first place as we head down to this little straightaway that leads us into turn number two so jumping a little forward on the lap we are able to come to the hairpin. Look at how much time we just gained on the American ahead of us as we are now on the back bumper of him. And we're just trying to focus here, trying to avoid making any type of contact with him because I want to race cleanly. I don't want to uh, accidentally bump this guy out. It's, it's really easy to do that here. It's just so easy to get um, lost in front of the car ahead of you and just accidentally break too late and make contact with the car ahead and just spin him out. But that's something I don't want to do as we come into this uh, two right-handers here. Coming to the two right-handers, I'm doing that gear trick again. And I'm, you see, I, I shift back up into third. It just gives me so much power. And then I'm able to just hold it here and then just stay in third as we come into the final corner or the final two corners. And you can see just how much time we're gaining on first place as we're still on this back bumper here as we come down into the final corner. So coming out to the final corner, first place goes a little bit wide. As you can see, he almost went to the grass area, so he had to let go of the throttle there. And you can see how much time we're gaining on him now as we're in the slipstream. Coming down into turn number one, we're moving on to the outside as he gives us the outside spot. And we're going side by side now as we head into turn number one. We're trying to make a move on to the outside, but we're just a little too far out. And we have to let uh, first place go as uh, we do not have a good enough exit as we come down into this little short straightaway that's going to lead us into turn number two. So coming to turn number two, you see the Honda is trying to make a move on to the inside there. He was taking a little peek, but we had to kind of defend as we come into the right-hander. Now heading to this two left-handers and lead us into the hairpin. We're just trying to make you know moves on the american or not make moves but just trying to keep up with the american but at the same time we have to focus on the honda behind us so we are doing two two hats in one right now as we're just trying to focus on trying to get back up to the american see if we can make an overtake so jumping into lap number eight here or lap number six my bad as we head into turn number one we're catching up to the american again into turn number one as we're staying right behind him on the slip strain and we're just going to the short straightaway it's going to lead into the right hander and we're just going to see if we can uh try to uh, get close to him and see if we can find any place to make an overtake as you can see we're heading to the left-handers uh, here now we're just, we're just gaining time we're gaining time but no place to overtake him now as we're trying to make a move on to the inside get a cut back and we're able to get a little bit of a cutback but we just get a little loose coming out there and the American is able to pull away from us a little bit now as we come into the sweeping left-hander so coming to the sweeping left-hander you can see behind us actually there's a little gap form between us and third place so we don't have to really worry about their place right now as we come into the hairpin here too far back to make any type of move on the hairpin as the American actually outbreaks himself and we're trying to make a move onto the inside but he actually blocks us there and uh, we have to let go of the throttle if not we would have ran to the back of him and it's getting very very dicey here as we come down to the final sector now coming to the final sector this is where things are going to start getting crucial as you can see the um the tire wear is starting to reduce a little or a lot now as uh, around lap number eight or nine that's where you really see who was able to hold the tire and uh, keep the tire wear down to a minimum and those are the guys that are going to be shining towards the end of the race as we are coming down to the final sector, to the final few corners. So coming to the final few corners, we are able to get really, really close to the American ahead of us. You can see how much time we are able to make on him as uh, we are now on his back bumper again as we come into the final corner. 
trying to take a wide entrance into this final corner it actually helps us out a little bit as we get a good exit coming out of there and we are now on the straightaway of the americans he's moving all the way to the inside we're getting a good slip stream here as we're going to move it back onto the outside here and try to make an exact same move on the outside are we going to be able to make the overtake as we kind of pinch him down he gets a little bit loose and we're still on the outside he makes contact with us he gets very very loose and he makes contact with the honda as the honda is able to just sweep right by us as we got very very loose because he made contact with us and we were able to get into first position just for about five seconds but unfortunately because of the contact it just slowed us down and the american in the honda was able to overtake us as we are now demoted back into the second place as again we were in first for just five seconds but now we have to focus on the honda and try to make a move on him now as we come into lap number seven so coming to lap number seven on the final few corners we're trying to catch up to the Honda NSX. He gets very, very loose as he hits the grass. And kip, uh, clipping the grass actually hurts his uh, straight line speed now as we're catching up to him really, really quickly uh, as we uh, jump into lap number eight. Coming to the slip stream of him, we're trying to make a move on to the inside. We pull out to the side, and we're going to break as late as we can. Try to park it onto the apex as we do so there. And the Honda actually makes contact with us a little bit. And now we are promoted into first place as we have to just focus on holding our lines here for the next few laps. As we have been conserving as much tires as we can and uh, hopefully that that conservation will be able to help us out as we now are jumping up into the final lap of uh, lap number 12 so coming to the final lap we are coming to the final sector again and uh, you can see that we were able to gain about a 1.9 second lead on second place so we were just you know uh, holding off our pace just making sure that we're on consistent laps and not um, abuse our tire wear as we just wanted to save our tire wear uh, for this final few uh, laps here as we're coming to the final few corners now we're going to be able to hold it off here as we come into the final corner take it very very easy i was sweating at this point because it was just so uh, difficult to hold all uh, these guys off but coming to the line we are going to finish in first place and get a win here at a top list my first win of the week and uh, what better way to win than ahead of uh, one of the Phoenix guys and, of course, some really, really fast drivers behind us. So uh, really, really proud of this race as we were able to hold off a lot of people and uh, just, you know, run really, really clean. But not only that, it was really, really difficult racing, especially with the um, uh, some of the guys that we had around us as um, we were able to make some really good overtakes. But not only that, have really good and hard, consistent, uh, clean racing. And that's like I said, when we get races like this, it's times where I love GT Sport. It's just so good with the racing. And you can just have so much clean racing. And not only that, but good side-by-side -side racing. So, anyways, I hope you guys found this video entertaining. I know I did. If you guys did, please subscribe and leave a like on the videos. It really helps out the channel when you guys do so. And if you guys really enjoyed the video, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.